The scene begins with Phil being pressured by Carol to immediately clean his pool toilet because, according to Carol, it has been bothering her. Carol even covered her nose with a tissue so she wouldn't smell the stench from Phil's pool toilet. But it seems that Phil never cared because he never wanted Carol to stay with him. He preferred to complain about Melissa, who always played a song every night. Where Carol actually liked the song because it signaled Melissa was happy with Todd. Hearing that, Phil immediately became curious about what Todd was doing with Melissa. Finally, he went to Todd's residence and began to act familiar with him. He asked about the song Melissa sang. Todd answered that he had heard it a few times. But Todd made a mistake when he mentioned being with Melissa. Because he accidentally slipped, Phil pressed Todd to tell him. Initially, Todd refused, but Phil continued to press him until Todd explained about him and Melissa eventually having a relationship. Just as Todd uttered a word, Phil immediately frowned, indicating he was very angry and jealous because Todd could immediately have a relationship with Melissa even though they had just met. Todd continued his story if it felt like a dream to him and the song they often sang every night would be a sign if they did it again. When Todd finished his story, Melissa suddenly approached the two of them and asked Todd to come to her house immediately because she needed help. Hearing Melissa needed help, Phil was moved and offered to help Melissa. But Melissa refused, saying she already had Todd, and that made Phil even more angry. Then he went home and jumped into the pool filled with harsh water. Then he screamed loudly. The next day, when Phil and Carol were having breakfast, Carol talked about Melissa talking about her relationship with Todd, which was clearly rejected by Phil because he didn't want to discuss it. Moreover, Melissa always disturbed him every night because she kept playing that song. Then Carol had an idea, because Phil was the President of the United States. Why didn't he make a vote to stop it? Hearing that idea, Phil immediately moved and that night he gathered all the people to hold a vote where he as the President of the United States had the right to hold a democracy to determine a bright future. He then made a policy on relationship restrictions which certainly no one agreed with. Instead of profiting, Phil actually suffered when Carol chose Phil to clean his pool toilet. And sure enough, everyone agreed with that, making Phil's nights increasingly heavy and tortured. Finally, the next day, Phil used an anti-odor uniform and started cleaning his pool very reluctantly. Shortly after he cleaned the pool, Phil gave up first and instead cried by the poolside. When Phil was crying, Melissa suddenly approached Phil, asking him to talk for a moment. Finally, Phil quickly changed his clothes neatly and began to talk to Melissa, which actually discussed Phil's feelings for her, because he didn't want to be embarrassed. Phil said if it was something he would give to Carol, but apparently Melissa knew the acting Phil always showed. Melissa explained if they could just be friends like they were when they first met, but if Phil wanted to keep a relationship with her, he couldn't because now she had Todd. Initially, Phil tried to coax Melissa by imagining if Todd had never existed. But Melissa still said if Todd was here. Then she left Phil. Hearing Melissa constantly saying Todd was here made Phil's mind even wilder to get rid of Todd. Finally, he quickly went to Todd's residence and started taking him out, where he promised beautiful views in the city of Tucson. Of course, that was well received by Todd who believed in Phil. But all that changed when in the middle of the journey. Phil told Todd to check his car's tires because he felt something was wrong had happened. Then he stopped his car and Todd immediately checked it out when Todd was checking. Phil suddenly pressed the gas pedal and immediately sped away leaving Todd. But just as Phil moved a few meters, he suddenly stopped his car and started yelling in confusion about what he had done to Todd. While Todd just looked at Phil who was arguing with himself about whether to leave Todd or return to him and take him home. After struggling for quite a while, Phil finally decided to approach Todd again and apologize for what had happened. When Phil returned, Todd said he knew Phil was a good man and would come back to him. Finally, Phil truly invited Todd to see the beautiful cityscape of Tucson. At night, they decided to have another cheerful camping with a bonfire atmosphere in the midst of their conversation. Todd showed his affection to Melissa when Melissa said Todd bought her a beautiful gold bracelet. Not wanting to be outdone by Todd. Phil said he bought body lotion for Carol. But Carol didn't want Phil to appear good in front of everyone. Then Todd suddenly pulled out a masterpiece he created to commemorate their time together as four. Where he made the work with Clay and showed Todd, Melissa, Carol, and Phil together. They all appreciated Todd's work, except Phil who, after Todd's work was put away, pretended not to see and immediately dropped it in front of them all. Interestingly, the work was not damaged and only broke part of Phil's, which they thought was better without Phil. 
The next day, Phil went to the bar to tell his imaginary friends how Todd was made a hero by Melissa and Carol about his expertise in all fields. Where he said he was always better than Todd in any way, then he thought hard about how to win Melissa's heart back. Finally, he left the bar and thought in front of his car alone. When Phil turned around, he suddenly startled by something in front of him. Phil was really surprised because in front of him there was a live cow. Finally, he brought the cow and invited all his friends to witness something they had never imagined before. Then he opened his house door, and soon a cow appeared that made all his friends stunned. But the discovery was nothing compared to Todd who immediately had the idea to take care of the cow so he could milk it, make butter, yogurt, milkshakes, and everything made from the cow's milk. But different views came from Phil who actually wanted to slaughter the cow to make it a steak. Hearing Phil wanting to slaughter it made everyone disagree. But Phil said he was the discoverer of the cow, and he had the right to do anything to it. Melissa opposed it, and thought if Phil looked like a five-year-old child. Because he couldn't do anything. Finally, Phil reluctantly complied with their words. Then Todd took him to a field and began to practice how he could get the cow's milk. When Todd finished taking the cow's milk, he immediately told Carol and Melissa to taste it. Seeing the gesture from Carol and Melissa saying the cow's milk was very delicious made Phil want to taste it. But out of pride, he said he had an allergy to glucose contained in the milk. Finally, they all rested. In the middle of the night, Phil suddenly brought a pot and immediately squeezed the cow's milk himself. He drank it and said the cow's milk he found was very delicious. When Phil was enjoying the cow's milk, he suddenly heard someone approaching him. He quickly hid, and it turned out to be Melissa and Todd who were squeezing the cow's milk again, where they showed their affection which made Todd jealous again and again. Because he didn't want Todd to always look like a hero, Phil moved the cow to his bar so Todd couldn't continue to show his expertise. Then when Phil returned home, everyone seemed confused when they couldn't find the cow. Melissa suspected Phil had hidden it, but Phil said he had just arrived from the city to get a hat that he would put on their cow. Because he didn't want anyone to argue, finally, Melissa made a plan where they would spread out to find the whereabouts of the cow. And the first place they would visit was Phil's bar proposed by Melissa. She asked Phil to show the whereabouts of the place while Todd and Carol went to another area. When Melissa approached her bar, Phil watched her movements from a distance. And luckily Melissa didn't find her cow. After Melissa left, Phil immediately approached her bar and was grateful because Melissa couldn't find her cow. But that actually made Phil panic because the cow he hid was really missing. Finally, he tried to find it. But just as Phil was about to search, he suddenly saw Todd had brought the cow and said he found it in someone else's yard. Then Todd said he would tell everyone if Phil was the one who found the cow. Hearing that, Phil felt strange about Todd. But Todd explained that he was very grateful to Phil for uniting him with the woman he greatly admired. Finally, on the night after they found the cow again, Todd processed the cow's milk into yogurt which they enjoyed together. When the event was over and Phil was asleep, he suddenly woke up by Carol's screams. And it turned out everyone was awakened by Carol's screams. Then they approached Carol who turned out to be approached by their cow because she didn't want to sleep next to the cow. Carol asked permission from Phil to allow her to sleep with him. Initially, Phil refused. But because of the urging from Melissa and Todd, finally, Phil allowed Carol to sleep with him like a real husband and wife. Just before sleeping, Phil asked how the cow could enter the house. Carol told when she heard strange noises, she went out of her house. And when she came back in, she suddenly saw a cow in front of her, which turned out to be just an idea from Carol so she could sleep with Phil. Finally, they slept together, and Carol was very happy about it, while Phil felt tortured because what he wanted was for Melissa to sleep with him. On the first day, Carol moved in with Phil. In the morning, Phil was surprised to see his paintings, which Carol had redrawn to look cuter. Phil, who disagreed with that, immediately protested to Carol. Carol replied that she intentionally repainted Phil's paintings to give them a lively impression. So she painted a little dog in them. But once again, Phil insisted that Carol not meddle with his personal belongings. But Carol refused. Because according to her, when she and Phil decided to be together, there would be no more Phil's or Carol's belongings, because ultimately they would own everything together. Not wanting any quarrels between them, finally Carol asked Phil for help in buying some groceries. Finally, Phil agreed and he set off. But bitter pills had to be swallowed again by Phil because as soon as he stepped out of his house, he saw Todd cutting Melissa's hair, and it looked very romantic. After seeing that incident, Phil immediately wrote on the complaint board not to cut hair in the front yard carelessly. Then he went to the supermarket. Instead of buying the groceries Carol ordered, 
he burned some toilet paper to relieve his boredom. He also complained to God about his life that had drastically changed after meeting Carol, Melissa, and Todd. Phil even hoped he could be alone in this world again. While Phil was lamenting his bad fate, he suddenly saw a car approaching him. And it turned out that the person driving the car was two happy women when they saw Phil. Then they introduced themselves. Where the woman in black introduced herself as Gail. And the woman in red named Erica. Then Phil introduced himself as well. Then these two women asked if Phil was alone in this world. Initially, Phil hesitated to say he lived with Carol, Todd, and Melissa. But wanting to be happy, Phil finally said he was alone in this world. Finally, Gail and Erica decided to invite Phil to their luxurious home. And there they immediately held a party. They drank and were happy because Erica and Gail could finally meet other people. Then Phil began to show off his playboy side again to the two women, where he asked Gail and Erica to tell their lives. Erica said she was born in Australia and had moved around before finally meeting Gail. While Gail was a village girl who settled in the United States. Then they told how they first met. Gail told that after the virus struck, Gail began to make a wish list to do. And the first thing Gail did was go to the White House where Erica happened to be there. Then they sailed the world together to find other humans. After Gail told the story, Erica suddenly focused on the ring Phil was wearing. Phil said he was indeed married, but his wife had died a few months ago. With the drama of sadness, Phil managed to get sympathy from Gail and Erica who immediately invited him to dinner. Hearing the invitation, Phil happily accepted it. Finally, he bid farewell first to ask Carol for permission. Upon arriving there, Phil brought the groceries Carol gave him. And Phil immediately asked for permission to camp alone so he could calm his mind. Without much ado, Carol allowed Phil to camp as long as Phil was happy. At night, in his bar, Phil wore a complete suit neatly to meet Gail and Erica. Upon arriving there, he was immediately greeted by two beautiful women who made Phil very happy. Then without waiting long, Gail told Phil to immediately eat the food they had served. After dinner was over, Phil began to try to regain sympathy from Gail and Erica, where he said he remembered his wife, Carol, who had left him alone on earth. Not wanting Phil to be sad, Gail and Erica had the idea of inviting Phil to swim together. When hearing the invitation, Phil suddenly felt enthusiastic and agreed to it. But on the other hand, Carol was actually with Melissa and Todd where they were talking about the kindness Phil always did to them, because they wanted to thank Phil for the service he provided. Finally, Todd invited Melissa and Carol to buy a balloon and some party supplies to welcome Phil back after he finished camping. Carol enthusiastically agreed to that, and they set off. When in the middle of the journey to the swimming pool, Gail and Erica suddenly saw a car approaching them. Initially, Phil told them to turn around, but Gail refused because she wanted to meet other people. Finally, Gail and Erica met Carol, Melissa, and Todd, where it made Phil more and more panicked, insert panic instrument. And what made Phil more embarrassed was when Gail said she was with a man. Then she introduced the man, but when Carol saw him, it turned out the man was Phil, which surprised Erica because she didn't expect Carol to know Phil. Carol replied that Phil was her husband. This is the end of The Last Man on Earth, Part 3. Like, comment, and subscribe so I will soon make a recap of Part 3 for The Last Man on Earth. Thank you for watching.